Now, while our country is moving in the right direction economically, I'm worried that we are not paying enough attention to the national debt, which recently surpassed $23 trillion. The net interest payment on this debt is estimated to reach around $400 billion during this fiscal year and could account for over 10 percent of the GDP by the end of 2020. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell stated in November that our debt is, is on an unsustainable path that will cripple our ability to respond to a recession. In addition, Chairman Powell's comments, I've heard from former senior military officers, including some who served at Fort Hood in my district, uh, that, our that our debt is one of the greatest national security threats that they see facing the nation. So the fact is we need to cut government spending. And we need to get serious operating within our means. So, Mr. Secretary, can you elaborate on the threat that our mounting national debt has on financial stability? Well, I would say that today it doesn't have much of a threat because we are the reserve currency of the world. And I think relative to the side of the GDP, it's sustainable. But what I would say is we need to grow our revenues faster than we grow our expenses. And I think, as you know, when the president came in, he presented a balanced budget. He wanted to increase military spending and decrease non-military to pay for it. Um, to get a bipartisan deal done, we increased both. Uh, I was part of with Speaker Pelosi just negotiating the recent deal. But over time, we need to look at government spending.